Looking at the CME statistic here, we know that the market is pricing in for a red card in September 2024. The question is how much? Is it 25 basis point or is it 50 basis point? Now, this is not a important question right now, but I think it's what important is that how is the red card is going to affect REITs? Now, I'm going to talk about in this video here a very important index and this index is showing sign that REITs are making a move ahead of the possible red card in September. Continue watching this video so that you know that what this index is pointing to and very important remember to hit the subscribe button because I'm talking about important topics for your investment and you don't want to miss any of the videos that I'm going to do in the future. The index I want to talk about is FTSE EPR in NARITS Asia X Japan REITs index. Uh, the index is important because a lot of REITs ETF track this index and we know that for the five years performance uh, the trend has only one direction which is heading down. The top 10 consists of eight Singapore listed REITs and then one of them from Hong Kong, the other one from India. So if you take away that from Hong Kong, India, I would say that about 50% comes from Singapore listed REITs. I would think that by buying into ETF that's based on this index would be quite representative of buying into the Singapore REITs market. In terms of the property sector breakdown, about 13 uh, of the listed REITs are diversified. And we do see quite a portion of data center as well as healthcare, which is something that I like, right? So by buying into the REITs, it does give a diversified exposure. Okay, now one thing to mention, the dividend yield of these REITs Average is about 6.43%. The NARI index is showing a downtrend at the moment. We can see from the lower highs and the lower low pattern here. However, for the past few months, it's in a consolidation pattern with priced as of right now, this week breaking out of the resistance level. So this is an inverted head and shoulder pattern that has been consolidating since uh, February this year, February to August 2024. So this is about a six months consolidation pattern. Nikko AM's STA X Japan REITs ETF, which is the Singapore class, and as well as is being offered in the USD uh, currency, tracks very closely to NARITS because uh, it's benchmarked against this uh, EPRA NARITS Asia X Japan. Right. The advantage of buying ETF is that you don't need to buy into many different REITs. Right? You could just buy into one ETF because it gives you the basket of different REITs inside. And uh, as I mentioned, it's followed very closely to this NARI index. The SGX stock code uh, is CFA for Sing Dollar and COI for US Dollar. This is a chart of Nikko AMSTC Asia. As you can see from the weekly chart, the trend is still down. Okay, so we are not seeing any uptrend at this moment. However, same as Narit, it is showing a reversal pattern. So this is a typical double bottom pattern. And as of last week, price had already broken out of this double bottom pattern here. Uh, we saw that there was quite a huge surge in terms of price. Okay, uh, as long as price can stay above 80 cents, I would think that this breakout is valid here. If you're looking at short-term price movement of REITs, then Macquarie under Singapore Warrens, under this website warrens.com.sg, has standards REITs available for short-term trading. First thing, you have to go under this tab here, which is the Warren Selector. Click on Warren Selector, and then go to A REITs, right, which gives you a standards REIT here. Now click on that, you can see the call and the put option. Let's say for example, if you're bullish in REITs in general and you're bullish in ascendant REITs, then you can click on the call. Now the call warrants would go up if the underlying, which is ascendant REITs, right, moved up. This is a tool for you to do short-term trading. However, trading into warrants like any other instruments has a higher risk. Please check whether this instrument is suitable for you. REITs on fire. I think we have to look at the long-term trend of REITs from NAR REITs is still showing that it's a downtrend. 
But uh, with this reversal pattern, I think it's time to have a close look into REITs overall, especially with the red cards coming in. But the question is that whether this red card will be significant is still something that the market is pondering. I guess that it's to monitor closely into REITs and to look at whether it will stage a higher price in future. All right, come to the end of this video. I hope that you like it. Remember to click the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find that this is useful to you. And I see you in my next video.